Thank you, um, Chairman Plone. There's a famous poem uh, about Casey at the bat that starts out, and I'm trying to quote it from memory, so if I miss it, I apologize to, to those that know it by heart, but it says, somewhere birds are singing, somewhere people shout, but there is no joy in Mudville, mighty Casey has struck out. Um, this is a hearing that appears to have struck out before we've even started it, Mr. Chairman. Not that I don't like baseball. Uh, I love baseball. I remember when Joe Garziola was actually a catcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. That shows how far back I go. So we're glad to have him here. Um, I'm not a big fan of tobacco. I've never smoked a tobacco cigarette. I've never used smokeless tobacco. I don't allow smoking in my office. That's been a policy since I got elected in 1985. So I'm not an apologist for the tobacco industry. I don't accept and never have. Uh, political action contributions from tobacco companies. But I don't see the, um, the need, Mr. Chairman, on this particular hearing the way it's structured. Uh, we have passed a law regulating tobacco products. I didn't support that law. Uh, under that, the FDA has issued rules uh, prohibiting uh, uh, the, uh, the marketing of tobacco products to people under the age of 18. Uh, their rule has been put on their website. Uh, it appears to me to be pretty uh, explicit and, and fairly uh, uh, exhaustive in its attempt to prevent tobacco products getting to our youth. Um, there may be a few Major League Baseball players that are under the age of 18. I'm not aware of any, but I guess it's technically possible. If a major leaguer wants to use a tobacco product, he still has that right under our Constitution to do so. If that product happens to be smokeless tobacco, uh, he has the right to, to use it. And so far as I know, there is not a prohibition against them, um, a, um, a major league baseball player uh, being a sponsor are somehow a spokesperson or being used in an advertising campaign for that product. Again, I'm not defending the product, but even under the new law, it is a legal product. Um, so we're going to have a hearing today, Mr. Chairman, where we appear to be trying to intimidate Major League Baseball uh, into prohibiting or discouraging their players from engaging in either the use of these products or serving as spokespersons and in some sort of an advertising uh, advocacy uh, situation for those products. I think that's a misuse of the subcommittee's time, Mr. Chairman. I think we'd be better spent if we begin to investigate and oversee this recent mammoth 3,000-page health bill that's now the law of the land. Uh, I was given yesterday a draft, a 55-page draft of the mandates and the timelines in that bill that are now law. Uh, there are many mandates that become effective date of enactment, which is March the 23rd, 2010, that are already not being honored by the Obama administration. I think our time would be better spent, Mr. Chairman, if we begin immediately to see what the the uh, pluses and minuses are of the new health care law and spent less time uh, appearing to do a grandstand hearing simply because opening day was a couple of weeks ago uh, and people are beginning to uh, focus on the, uh, on the diamond uh, and what activities are going on in Major League Baseball. I do thank the witnesses for appearing. I know you're here sincerely to express the, your position and uh, that, that there are issues to be addressed. I don't think it should be the subject of a congressional hearing at this point in time. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.